Hi everybody, I'm going to be sharing with you how I created this uh, configuration box uh, for the piece by piece. And I first start off with painting it with some gesso. I'm now taking some cream colored acrylic paint and just painting the outside edges um, all the way along um, the center box and also I will do all the little boxes but I didn't want to bore you with um, painting all of those little boxes. I'm now taking this stencil from Crafters Workshop and some molding paste and I want the whole uh, paper to be covered with the script so I'm just uh, layering it on there and I will be spraying it with some um, spray. I believe it's a little bit of smooch spritz and some water. Um, and I'm just blotting it off a little bit. I'm now just taking some uh, Mod Podge and um, lightly putting it on and then just putting it all the way around the sides of the box. So what I'm doing now is just taking some of that cream colored acrylic paint and whitewashing it over the script. It turned out just a tad bit too dark for me. Um, and also um, I used some Tim Holtz tissue paper and lined the whole inside of the box with box, I'm sorry, with the tissue paper as well. Um, I wanted it because it's a bigger box, I wanted it, I didn't want it just the paint to show. I wanted some pattern there. I used the small hot air balloon chipboard piece that you can get from the piecebypiece.com. I did make the, um, the bottom part a little bit more narrow than the chipboard um, actually is. Um, and I'm just tracing it out. Um, I believe I traced out eight pieces all together. And then I ink up all the edges and distress all the edges. I use the Prima Distress Tool for that. It works really well. Um, I love it. And I'm just now folding the hot air balloons in half um, so that they're uh, patterned side together because I'm going to be gluing the uh, white and white together. And you'll see that in just a moment. Okay, you'll see now that I'm taking the hot glue and um, not very much, you don't need very much because you. I'm going to smush it down. I'm taking it and going to be placing two of them together here. And I'm going to be rotating um, each pattern um, so that it looks really nice and just smushing it down like I said. So I'm painting the uh, black frame with some cream colored uh, acrylic paint. I'm going to be kind of wiping it off because it does um, give it too much of a whitewash. But I do take off all of the um, plastic and the backing from the frame as well. And then you could see here that I did add some uh, trim from the piece by piece on the top portion of the hot air balloon and I'm just uh, placing the um, 
the frame or I'm sorry the lace inside of the box here and all the trims and laces you can uh, find at the piece by piece and I'll have a link below to where you can find all those uh, wonderful pro products I'm taking this black lace here kind of trimming it down to make sure that it's going to fit perfectly in the box because I don't want it to be too small um, and I don't want it to be too big so it's um, so I'm just kind of placing it there I'm now taking some of these roses here and just painting them with some cream colored uh, acrylic paint and then I'm going to be spraying them with that same spray that I sprayed the um, molding paste with. Um, what happens when you do this is it kind of creates a resist, uh, not a full resist, but I mean it. it's very light uh, colored when you put it on the acrylic paint and then it's darker obviously on the mulberry paper. It looks really nice. So I love doing that for my flowers. So here I'm just placing one of those Prima light bulbs and it says enjoy. Really cute and I did place one of those flowers. I did do a few more of those flowers. Um, here I'm placing a Tim Holtz knob. Um, I thought it went perfect uh, with this project. So I cut out this ruler from the paper collection and the this I used the 6x6 paper pad. Um, so I'm just going to be uh, placing it along top of that trim there. I just thought that it just needed just a little extra something. So now I'm using this uh, Quick Cuts Quick Stick um, to put the pearls in the centers of the butterflies. I get a lot of questions about this tool, so um, just thought I'd tell you what it was. I love it. It's perfect because I do use a lot of pearls, so um, I use it a lot. I am now taking some 10 millimeter flatback pearls. Um, and placing them along the uh, center box here. You can find those at the piece by piece. Really gorgeous. I'm now placing some more trim here along um, the bottom of the top boxes. Really cute trim. Really, really pretty. Love the color. So what I'm doing now, I'm using the Martha Stewart uh, Lacy punch and I'm and I did all um, off camera I had made um, I scored it to make a little uh, like a rosette type thing but I only made half of it so that I could stick it in the corner here and I don't recall where I saw this um, but I really loved it so I decided to, um, to to put them there and I really love how they turned out uh, this completes the video um, and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll have all the links down below and I love to read your comments and thank you so much for watching. Bye.